Hello everyone, I hope you guys can see um, my workstation well. I just wanted to bring a quick video on um, just a small haul that I had today. Um, I went to Skylark and I got some stuff that I needed and some interesting new nail art. So um, first off, I got myself a, um, I don't know if you can see me on the reflection, I got myself a germicidal sterilizer. It um, uses a to um, help disinfect implements. I thought it'd be good because I hate using the regular barbicide because I feel it rusts the um, clippers and um, cuticle nippers. So I will be using that now. Um, here on my um, um, small camera anyways um so I always get buffers um, these were five for a dollar so I always just get them because you can never have enough of course same thing with my tips I always try to get um, number fives and fours and six because those tend to run out fast I got containers I already filled these with some acrylic mixes that I made but um, they were like a buck each um, I got a new um, got a new brush. Um, I'll see how I like it. I'm not quite sure on the price, but um, I had him pinch it there and everything, so it's like ready to go. Um, I just thought it was really, really pretty, so I'm quite excited about it. Um, also, I got these bands. They are for the callus, um, just for. Um, uh, to help me with the callus removal because it is a little bit tough on my um, arms and stuff um, also I got new cuticle pictures these were four dollars they were kind of pricey um, but I really like this I mean this part sorry um, to get in there when I do pedicure so I mean um, hopefully these last really well because the ones that I have they're not as nice so I'm hoping that will last longer um got some toner clippers these were like two bucks a piece um i got these really cool cat eye chameleon um shades that i'm gonna swatch for you guys to see and i also got the chameleon flakes i will also swatch these for you guys to see um they looked really really pretty so i'm really excited about those i also like the dnd &D, um duels because um I just feel like I have, um, it helps me do different art, so I like to get the dual sets like this. Um, I got 490 Redwood City, uh, 550 Coral Castle, and 488 Season Beige. Um, these were, uh, I believe, like $9, I think. And then um, I also got these really cool. Um, zigzagger they're like to cut out the shapes on the acrylic when you're using colored acrylics and i had seen some really cool nail art so i was kind of excited this is a halloween set um i just think it'll be very fun and um so yeah that's um maybe haul and i will be back to show you guys the swatches and stuff so stay tuned so we're back i'm gonna be swatching these three they're um, called Cat Eye Chameleon by Creations, and um, they're LED and UV soak off gel. And um, they are you have to use a um, a magnet for these. So make sure you have a magnet. Um, these are a little bit different because I have Cat Eye on this one, and you just use the gel. But these kind of um, it's more of like a glittery sheen. I'll show you guys in a bit. But they go over black. So I'm going to apply. I'm just going to do like one layer because I don't. If you were to do this on a client, you don't want so much um, gel. So many layers, excuse me, of gel. So I feel like one good coat like this will work. I'm just going to put it under my lamp. I'm going to do the rest. 
I hope this is a good angle and you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I bought um, my, um, what's it called, Hero um, camera. And I bought like a head strap for it because I figured you guys could see like my view. But um, I don't know if it's going to be that great. We'll see once I'm editing. Hopefully you guys get like a good image. Mm. I'm just using IBD Black Lava. Um, any black or dark base helps. So I'm going to show you what I meant about these colors. Do you see how it's just like a shimmer? It's really, really, really pretty. Mm, I'm, I suppose you can apply them just by themselves. But um, I don't know. I think they probably look better on top of You know what? I'm going to test it. So, this one I'm going to swatch is called, um, it's CE03, so it's number 3, so I'm going to put it on top, get a nice coat on there. Now I'm going to hold the magnet over it for like 10 seconds. It's really important once you remove the magnet you put it under the lamp because if not it loses its magnetic. Oh you see that? That is super cool. And let's try it on here without a base. Oh I'm kidding you know what I forgot I, I put that under the light. Sorry so I'm going to have to add another coat. So, mm, it did, but do you see how the blue does not stand out? And you see how this one actually, like, turned blue? How cool is that? This is really cool. So that one's zero 03. Looks just like in the picture. Super cool. Now we're going to try um, C11. They all look like they're like a gold color. Gonna hold the magnet on top. Ooh, look at that. Super cool. on them. And last one is uh, CE01. So this is number one. So this is on top of black. I wonder what it would look like on top of white. I wonder if you would... I guess probably not because this is kind of white, right? So, so that answers my question. it right there. So you can always go in and fix it as long as you haven't put it under the light. Okay, 
and I'm just gonna top it with a top coat. And with a lint free wipe and alcohol, you um, remove the um, sticky residue that's left behind. Oops. I feel like this is more of a cat eye than this of the glitters in the bag but um yeah they're super cool um they don't stick that well onto it so there it is nice and swatched and um now we're going to swatch these cool chameleon flakes again we're going to use a black base. Um, I'm going to use the IBD Black Lava. Okay, I'm going to try to use um, this kind of tool to um, pick up the product um, and see how it works. This one is um, number 13, and this is number 5. I always make sure it's like a very thin layer. The girl at the store said that you want it to be sticky. It looks very messy, so let's see. It looks like it kind of picks it up. It looks like it's like mylar flakes. This is not a real good tool for putting it on. I'm gonna try it with my finger. Ugh. Let's see what happens if we use a um, eyeshadow applicator. So you could also use this. Oops, I had a little bit of chrome on there. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And let's try the um, this color. I'm just gonna clean this off because they have um chromes on them so hmm oh, this is interesting so as you can see you can kind of make it look like more chunky or you can actually like buff it into the gel okay make sure you always uh, seal because you don't want to make a mess I'm just going to get rid of excess because you don't want um you don't want your clear coats to pick up and then get um, 
dirty with these glitters. So you can see there's like a little bit of them. I'm just going to hit it. I'm just going to clean this again because I can see the little glitters in there. So this tool didn't really work very well. This was better. I think even your finger will work, but um, I have nails so it's kind of a little bit difficult. And here it is. This is the cat eye with nothing on it. So as you can see, the blue did not stand out at all. So um, definitely use it on top of a black base. And then here are the um, the glitter. Well, they're like mylar flakes, kind of chameleon flakes. So this one's like different colors, and this one's um, like a red, yellow, greenish duochrome, which is really pretty. So so yeah. Um, I hope you guys like that. A quick little um, haul video so you can check out some new art, nail art stuff. And I'll be making more nail videos hopefully. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.